So after you record a video, um, it's just another review bit. After you um, record a video, you are then going to have this screen pop up and you have some different options here and I just want to talk you through them. Um, first, you can open it in editor. So this will take you to, it'll open up a new tab where you can like um, snip your video and things like that. Um, and if you have like the premium screencast fight, you can do a lot more or unlimited. Yeah, I don't have that, so I don't use it. Um, on the right hand side of your screen, you'll have some different options. Um, so all of your Screencastify videos is automatically saved to your Google Drive. Um, if you want to share it from your Google Drive, you can. You can copy the shareable link, but make sure you click on more options first and change your setting so that um, either everybody with our email, at the, with our domain can see it, um, where people with the link can see it. Private means you're the only one who can see the video. So if you share it as private, you're gonna get a lot of emails saying this person's requesting access to this video. Public means anybody can find and view it and unlisted is only people with the link can see it. Um, so to just cover my bases, I like to put them as private or public. Um, and you can view it on Drive from there. Um, a safer bet in the way I usually take is to publish to YouTube. You can do that straight from here. So if you click on publish to YouTube, it will bring up this dialog box. So you would wanna make sure your YouTube channel is selected. If you don't already have your YouTube channel in there, you just click add channel and add it in. Um, you can give it a more specific title or change it. Um, you can give it a description. And then again, you can change the privacy settings. Um, and I change it depending on my need. So. Public is for any video I make that's teaching something. Unlisted is what I use for more private things. So maybe um, feedback, like one-on-one -on -one with a kid, uh, planning purposes, reflection, reflection pieces, whatever it is. Um, you also have shared a classroom over here. That's another great option. I don't really use it that much though because I like to have everything in my YouTube channel, but if you wanna use that, you can. You can also use an embedded code you can send it in an email, you can generate a QR code. There's a lot of sharing options there. And then you could also just go ahead and download it to your desktop. You can export it as an MP4. Um, you can export just the audio or you can export an automated GIF. So there's lots of different sharing options that come up when you finish a video. Um, you can also uh, edit it from here, um, just keep in mind if you're gonna snip a Screencastify video, once you, like like when you cut paper in real life, once you cut the video, you can't undo the cut. So make sure you are just being aware of that. And then if you just wanna delete a video because it got messed up in the middle, trash icon, trash can icon up here is for delete. So that was a very quick Screencastify review.